Poway is a caring community and always stands ready to support those in need. Since schools closed on March 13th, our school gardens have donated approximately 1,150 pounds of produce to local food pantries and other organizations, and donations continue each and every week. Our school gardens have also inspired many of our PUSD families to start their own victory gardens at home. Imagine a student planting a seed and just a few days later discovering a tiny leaf pushing its way up through the soil. Tending to new seedlings teaches children patience, responsibility, resilience, and teamwork. Our students learn where food comes from by watching a seed turn into a cauliflower, and they are far more likely to try a new food they have grown themselves. Not only that, they love to taste food right in the garden. Student-led farmers markets teach students about collaboration, commerce, math, and marketing as real-life producers and consumers. Monterey Ridge and Chaparral are certified to participate in PUSD's Garden to Plate program, in which schools add harvested food to cafeteria salad bars. We have seen that students cannot wait to buy lunch on Garden to Plate days, and they fill their trays with food they helped grow. We hope to see our Garden to Plate program at more schools in the near future. Enhanced nutrition education and food awareness benefit all students, and gardens create endless opportunities to teach them about healthy eating. When we eat a rainbow or make a lettuce taco from just picked produce, students begin to understand the importance of fresh whole foods. Working outside in the fresh air increases movement, calms bodies, clears minds, and reduces anxiety and depression. Exposure to the sun increases vitamin D, which strengthens the immune system, increases eye and heart health, and reduces blood pressure. It is clear that our outdoor classrooms and gardens are needed now more than ever. At Chaparral, I had an idea to use project-based learning. Added a school-wide engineering design thinking contest. We tested layouts, researched garden elements, and produced our enriching outdoor classroom. Our school garden allows students to learn outside the traditional setting. They are receiving real hands-on learning. I have seen our hawks thrive in our school garden. All 26 Poway Gardens give children an opportunity to see firsthand the phenomenon in nature up close and personal. They can observe the metamorphosis of a butterfly, learn pincher bugs are harmless, and bees are important for our survival. Students can experience the life cycle of a seed a true miracle, and understand the symbiotic relationships between the plant and its pollinator. They can learn the environmental effects of sunlight, water, air, and the nutrients in the soil. Children learn to care for all living things as they work together, which in turn teaches them to care for each other. Each of our outdoor classrooms are unique and run differently, some by amazing volunteers, or one classroom and teacher, while others a combination of both. Our gardens are a safe place to enjoy, for some before school or at recess. Some have academic centers where all students rotate through specialized stations. For example, they might learn nutrition in one station, engineering rain gutters at another, or the chemistry of soil in the last station, or possibly a math station where they might measure plants or figure out the surface area of the soil to plant. An agricultural station might focus on composting and recycling. NGSS-based lessons can easily be taught in these outdoor classrooms. Social studies could be incorporated with the local kumiai and how they use native plants, or posting signs telling which country the plants originated from. Both staff and students can meet their social-emotional needs, enjoying a nature bath surrounded by flora and fauna that they help nurture. They can see, smell, hear, taste, and touch plants and animals through the lens of scientists artist, mathematician, economist, writer, helper, and farmer. School gardens help focus concentration, stimulate healthy sleep cycles, and great places for brain breaks. Have you enjoyed a garden lately? What inspired us really is that we, uh, our kids that are here are hands-on learners and we wanted to get out of the classroom. We've always taught a little differently here. When I'm having a rough day or like I'm stressed out like my home life or just like regular life things, um, it helps to just like come out here and like be in nature because like that's what I really like to do. I always talk to them about urban farming, how the cost of our food is really represents what it costs to transfer it from okay. either Central California or Northern California or Mexico or right. whatever. And uh, there's money to be made. Uh -huh. I mean, there really is. And plus, it's healthy, organic, you know, and teach them what, what organic means. Mm -hmm. 
and yeah, I have several students that have gone through this that are practicing at home and actually, you know, working in some of the bigger, uh, like I have two guys that are working in farms in Encinitas. Okay. And uh, they come, we're always bouncing text off each other and they want to learn how to do aquaponic. We built a in-ground pond, 8,000 gallons. We built another uh, lettuce beds. We taught them how to pour concrete and form up layers and plumb pipes. We're taking the kids along the whole line where we come and harvest these plants, bring them down to a church and clean them, and actually bag them and bring them to uh, families in need. So they see the circle of what it takes to go from a seed into the ground, grow over time, and then harvest it and then deliver it to the tables of people that need it the most. The beauty of it is that they see this progress and they see that they can contribute to something and they, it builds confidence and it builds self-worth. What the garden means to me it gives me a peace of mind. It shows me how to be patient. It teaches you how to bring life, how to manage it, take care of it, make this a better place, more healthier for you, for everybody else. And it just brings the community together. I have some of the most successful graduates that come through this program that have a good head on their shoulders. They know that hard work pays off. And that's what draws me to this program. It's the kids, and it's the learning, and it's the give back, and it's just the love that works through this program that makes it such a, a special place. I am Heather from the San Diego Master Gardeners. 70 local UC-trained Master Gardeners have consulted in 800 county schools over the last two decades. We share gardening best practices, pest advice, funding assistance, and encourage networking and growth of our local gardens. As volunteers, we protect the valuable agriculture industry by encouraging gardens that use our resources efficiently. School gardens are bright green spaces on campus that encourage deeper learning with hands-on activities. Higher test scores, particularly in science, have been shown when lessons are given in the garden. Gardens improve communication, allowing students to better convey emotion and aid teamwork. They improve social skills and behavior. Time spent outside in nature reduces ADHD symptoms and increases students' focus. Gardens increase creativity, critical thinking, and problem solving. Gardens lead to higher consumption of fruits and vegetables, particularly when students and parents plant, grow, and harvest produce together. The benefit of a school garden extends to teachers. Schools with gardens report high teacher and staff job satisfaction. It's a great place to enjoy a break and a meal. Studies are available to back up all these points. School gardens are in demand in San Diego. School garden requests to the master gardeners have steadily increased over the years. Annual requests were 40 gardens per year a decade ago, but now 60 gardens annually is common, a 50% increase. San Diego County School District supports school gardens in varied ways. Encinitas has a farm lab visited by each student and grows its own organic produce. San Diego Unified provides a staffer to manage school garden-grown produce on the salad bar. Chula Vista saw a decline of 17% in obesity rates and attribute part of that decline to school gardens. Vista Unified supports school gardens by paying gardens for the produce they grow and provide garden support and guidance and won USDA awards. Escondido USD provides an aquaponics growing setup to each middle school. School gardens grow with district support. Irrigation and staff are the two most demanded features of a school garden. Poway, with agrarian roots, should be assisting Poway school gardens similarly to other school districts in the county. Parents now more than ever appreciate gardens as outdoor classrooms. When they ask their kids, how was school today? They normally hear, fine, but on a garden day, they hear an exciting story about what they saw or touched or planted. Parents hear how their introverted daughter spent a recess helping in the garden, or how their normally disorganized son was a wonderfully focused garden worker. Parents marvel when their kids come home asking to try new foods. New families, especially those with anxious or special needs children, tour campuses and often choose those with gardens over those without. Gardens need constant nurturing. They need an organized plan and coordination. The majority of garden outdoor classrooms rely heavily, sometimes entirely, on volunteers. Parents and volunteers are asked to seek grants, fundraise, and donate time teaching and maintaining the garden. 
Volunteer parents are hard to hold on to long term, increasingly going back to work or graduating with their child and moving on. The dedicated time volunteers and teachers give up to run an educational garden program often burns them out. The benefits of school gardens are clear. One of the Poway Board's goals is to create student-centered learning environments. School gardens are true outdoor classrooms where all education can take place, creating academically and emotionally successful student citizens ready for the next phase of life. Our dream is to have Poway Unified be a supportive district in this endeavor. <laughs>